benefit from this agreement in terms of money being released. Is that correct? They have received great benefit from the, the JCPOA, economic benefit from the JCPOA. Yes, that's correct. If uh, we were to somehow get out of the agreement, would there be an attempt to claw some of that money back? Senator, I, I haven't considered that. I, I don't think that there I, is I, any. I, 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 would, I would think that unlikely. Yeah. There, there's not a tool inside the agreement to achieve that. Right. That, that's my understanding as well. So, in effect, uh, Iran has already re realized much of the benefit from the agreement. But if we were to exit the agreement now, uh, we would give them reason to uh, uh, renege on the agreements that they have made on the nuclear side. Is that right? Senator, they're, they're still receiving enormous economic benefits, even as we sit here this morning. Right. So, so there is continued uh, so there is continued interest on the part of Iran to stay in this deal. It's in their own economic self-interest to do so. And, and I guess I'd add, Iran wasn't racing to a weapon before the deal. There is no indication that I'm aware of that if the deal no longer existed that they would immediately turn to racing to create a nuclear weapon today. Well, my concern is certainly that they uh, have realized the benefits of the agreement. In the end, I voted against the agreement. I, I applauded the last president for negotiations. I thought that it should have been presented as a treaty uh, before this body. I think it would have been a better agreement um, and, and something that I could have supported. Uh, but uh, now that uh, it is in effect and Iran has realized the benefits of it economically, I, I think that uh, we ought to think long and hard about uh, giving Iran now uh, the ability, if we exit the agreement, uh, to uh, continue on on the nuclear side and, and not uphold the obligations that they agreed to under the treaty. Uh, so I know that that's being considered. And then the other with regard to uh, North Korea, um, I am uh, happy that the president uh, is, is talking. Um, that discussions at the highest level are had. I've always agreed that uh, presidents and secretaries of state and others ought to talk to rogue leaders. Um, so, but uh, I, I am concerned, I think, and a lot of Americans are, that these discussions that uh, usually take place in that regard at the head of state level are preceded by a lot of negotiations, meetings, uh, and deliberation um, by people like yourself and your able diplomats who, uh, if you're confirmed, will have at the State Department. Do you have some of those concerns as well that this first meeting that's being discussed will take place perhaps prematurely before uh, the hard negotiations that must be done by skilled diplomats uh, you know, simply will not have been done? Senator, there, there, there is work being done today in preparation for the President's uh, uh, proposed meeting with uh, Kim Jong-un. So, uh, American people, you should know there's, there's work being done in preparation for that. Uh, the President's view has been, and, and I agree with him, that the model that we have used previously, long negotiations to get the, the two leaders to the table, hasn't happened. We haven't had that opportunity to have these two leaders sit together to try to resolve this incredibly vexing, difficult challenge. So the president's judged that if the two of them, there'll be lots of work to do. <laughs> no, no one is under any illusions that we will, uh, we will reach a comprehensive agreement through uh, the president's meeting, but to enable, to set, out, to set out the conditions that would be acceptable to each side for the two leaders who will ultimately make the decision about whether such an agreement can be achieved and then uh, set in place. Um, I'm optimistic that the United States government can set the conditions for that appropriately so that the president and the North Korean leader can have that conversation and will set us down the course of achieving a diplomatic outcome that America so desperately, America and the world so desperately need. Is there some concern that uh, exiting the Iran agreement uh, might uh, play poorly uh, with regard to a possible agreement with the North Koreans? It would seem that if you're the North Korean leader, or negotiators on that side, uh, they might be concerned at our uh, reliability in terms of signing an agreement if the next president could simply exit it. 
Senator, well, I'll concede we don't know precisely what Kim Jong-un is contemplating, how he's thinking about his option set today. Uh, 